Welcome back to St. Anne's here in Higher Open Show. For any of you out there that listen uh, regularly to the parish podcasts, you might realise that it has been quite a while since I did the last podcast. And there's fairly good reason for that. I'm sure most people who are in the parish um, have figured out now that I am involved with the new Catholic national catholic radio station called heaven's road fm this is a it's it's an internet based radio show and if you google it just put heaven's road fm in it will take you to their website it's heaven's road fm.com is the uh, the url address if you want to go straight there and um do you know i'm not really sure how I fell into this, but I'm now one of their regular presenters. Um, It seems to have been... um, Do you know, the more I think about it, the more I can't even imagine how I've got to this point. But anyway, there we are. I am now involved with Heaven's Road FM, and I am asking people to tune into that, because as a Catholic radio show, um, it is entirely run by volunteers, And, you know, it takes an awful lot of work to put a show like that together. And as such, they need your support, because without listeners, it will just fold. Um, I had a word with Jilly. She is the lady that I am in contact with down in London. That's It's based at Allen Hall Seminary in London. And Jilly tells me that the band of listeners is growing very quietly and... Uh, very steadily so we're very pleased about that so if you have any time to listen in we'd be very grateful indeed so i'd like now to switch over to a piece of music and maybe introduce you to somebody new i have been become a little almost obsessive recently um about music or songs that are done a cappella, that is just using the human voice and this is a young man called Sam Robson and if you want to catch Sam, he's there's plenty of his stuff on YouTube, but this is an a cappella version of How Great Thou Art, I think it's stunning, I hope you like it like I do
So that was Sam Robson. You can check him out on uh, on his videos on YouTube. I'd also like to thank Sam for giving me permission to use his music in these podcasts. Now, back to the parish. It has been, um, first of all, after Christmas, it was fairly quiet. And then this week, I thought, oh, wonderful, I've got a quiet week. But actually, um, last week turned out to be a manically busy week. We had the wedding of Ruth Dawson and Martin Bridge on Saturday. So uh, congratulations to Ruth and Martin, the new Mr. and Mrs. Bridge. I hope that everything went okay on uh, on Saturday and that you're having a wonderful time now as Mr. and Mrs. Um, we're also still covering for Christ the King. Canon Denony down there is still not too good. He's getting better. Um, and he's able to do one or two things now, but for the time being anyway, we are still helping to cover the masses at the weekend down there. Then we've had, uh, there was two baptisms yesterday, obviously the wedding rehearsal on Friday, there was the art class on uh, on Thursday, we had a governor's meeting on Thursday, um, I had a meeting in school earlier on in the day. I was covering the hospital Thursday and Friday this week. So as you can see, life is extremely busy, or so it would seem. Um, there is not much coming up uh, over this next week. Today is uh, Monday, but this next coming... I have had um, a phone call from a group who are involved with... Um, I think it's I think it's cancer care that they're involved with, and they would like to come or send some of their volunteers to some of the groups that we have here, just for a five minute chat about making aware things to do with um, you know looking after people with cancer, but also you know checking yourself your own body for cancer. Um, and trying to detect cancers as early as we can. And I have invited them on Thursday this week, both to the Thursday morning coffee and also to the art class on Thursday evening. It'll only take five, maybe six or seven minutes, but I do think it's worth listening to the message that they are going to bring with them. Um, We also have a funeral on Friday. So the morning mass on Friday will have switched from uh, 9.15 to 10.30. And that will not be in the parish hall. Obviously, it will be over in church. So that's at 10 or, sorry, 10.30 on Friday morning. I'm just having a quick whiz through the diary. 
couple of things coming up to do with school. The next unit, which is Unit 5 for the sacramental programme, that will be on the 9th of February at the normal time of 9.45am. And it's absolutely imperative that all children do come along to that. And there's another couple of things then. On the 11th of February, there is a subcommittee meeting for the governors in school, and that's the premises subcommittee meeting, and that will be on Tuesday, the 11th of February, at 3.30 in the afternoon. Again, should only take around about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes for that meeting. And then one more thing to do with school, two more things to do with school. We have our next class mass on Wednesday, the 12th of February, and that will be at 9.15 over in school, and that this time will be with um, Year 5. And the last thing to do with school is that the school term finishes that week, that's when, uh, sorry, that's February the 14th, that's when um, the school is out. Now then, just one other impending thing as far as I'm concerned, my, um, I have booked um, a trip out to our orphanage, the Good Life Orphanage, and I will be travelling out to Africa on the 3rd of March. Now, it's unusual because when I normally go, there's only Kevin out there. But at the moment, both Kevin and Mary are out there. And I am very excited to be going because um, I think it's the following Wednesday, which is the 12th of March. I will be opening and blessing their new transition house. Now, for all of those parishioners, I'm sure you know about the orphanage, but the latest thing at the orphanage is this transition house. This is a new building which has been built, and this is where when the children um, of the five normal houses get to a particular age, they really need to be then split into girls and boys, for obvious reasons, I'm sure. And so the transition house now has two major dormitories, one for girls, one for boys. And I will be blessing and opening the transition house on Wednesday the 12th, is it? Wednesday the 12th of March. So I ask you once again to please keep the Good Life Orphanage in your prayers. I'd like to use this broadcast to thank anyone who donates money to the Good Life Orphanage. Believe me, it is an amazing place. There is also, if you have children who are at that age where they're going to do either a gap year or would like to do some voluntary services overseas, then there is provision at the Good Life Orphanage. So if they want to do a couple of weeks or a couple of months, then they can get either in touch with me and I'll put you in touch with Kevin and Mary directly or you can do it through their website. They are always happy to take volunteers on board. There's always loads to do uh, looking after 60 children over in the orphanage. So for the time being, I think that is pretty much what's happening in the parish. There is a couple of other things. One uh, really is that we are not too far from the beginning of Lent, believe it or not. Now, there are a number of station, Lenten station masses this year, as there have been over the previous number of years. I will put a, a poster up at the back of the church, but um, I'm going to give you the heads up now um, about the dates and the times and where they are. So the running order is like this. The 12th of March, the... Lenten Station Mass will be at St. Mary's Church in Failsworth. That's Clive Road's Failsworth. And I do think, yes, they are. They're all beginning at 7.30. So all of these Masses are at 7.30. Then on March the 19th, we will be at St. Anne's in Crumpsall. That's Crescent Road, Crumpsall. And Bishop Brain will be the chief concelebrant at that Mass. Then on March twenty sixth, we will be at St. Uh, we will be at St. Margaret Mary's in Moston, and that is on St. Margaret's Road, New Moston. 
Then 2nd of April, we will be at St. Stephen's Droylsden, just next door. And that's, on, of course, on Chapel Road. And then the last one will be um, on the 9th of April at Christ the King, Newton Heath. So if you are able to come and join us for any of those masses, you would be uh, very welcome indeed. They're a very simple thing, but it's lovely to be able to get the deanery community working together. So I think pretty much that is it for now. I know this is quite a um, quite a, a, a short podcast, but um, like I said, things have been so busy, I haven't really got round to producing a, pro- a podcast up until now. What I will do, perhaps, is slot in a couple of pieces of music into this podcast, and that might elongate it a little bit. So, until next time... Oh, by the way, if you have... Um, If you have anything that you'd like me to discuss, this is something I'm putting out on Heavens Road FM. If there are any things that you would like to advertise, if there are any things that you'd like to put out or you would like me to discuss... Um, on the either on the podcast or indeed nationally on Heavens Road FM, please email me at jmcmail at mail dot com, and the mail is m a i l in both of those. So you can do that, and I will be pleased to cover whatever subjects you would like. So until next time, God bless, and I hope you enjoy this final piece of music. <laughs>
I'd like to finish by thanking uh, Kevin McGrin for that piece of music. Kevin is a, a young and up and coming musician from, he's a young um, Catholic lad from a parish over there in Liverpool. Kevin got in touch with me, offering me um, copyright free use of his music. So thanks for that, Kevin. If there is anyone else out there that would like me to play some of their music, all you need to do is to get in touch. So for the time being, God bless. Until next time. <laughs>